Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once more. My name is Adam. If you have enjoyed all the track and field videos we bring to you on this channel, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notification. Because in today's video, we are going to do a throwback to the All African Games where Nigeria surprised everyone and beat Ghana in the women's 4x100 meter relay. And honestly, Toby Express delivered once more in this particular 4x100 meter relay because it was all about Toby Amosan. She, she killed it. In my own opinion, she, she made Nigeria win this particular race. So guys, if you have watched it before, then i mean enjoy it once more but then if this is your first time watching it i want you to watch the race enjoy it and leave a comment down below let's watch it together this race is that they've drafted in toby abusan for the anchor leg of their four by 100 meter relays well we say she's a consummate professional less than an hour after she won the women's 100 meters hurdles final she's back on track to attempt to win a second gold medal in one day for herself so and starting for Burkina Faso is Milogo Latifatu Kenya's uh, B. Wini is starting Nigeria Justina Tiana Yakubiyang is starting Ghana's Mary Boate will start Kubeka Fidley will start for South Africa Vanele Whitney will start from uh, Liberia Jaso Guyo will start for Ethiopia and for Namibia, they will start with Hangneni. So that's what it is. The anchor legs uh, for the various teams will be quite interesting. Medina Toure is anchoring for Burkina Faso. Esther Mbagari is anchoring for Kenya. Toby Amusan is anchoring for Nigeria. Ho Halutia is anchoring for Ghana. Vanelle Whitney is anchoring for South Africa and for Liberia is Carrie Josephine who is anchoring for them. Ethiopia Ali Ahmed is anchoring and for Namibia they will be taking home by Haitambu in the one. This will give you an idea of what to expect. Ghana qualified fastest um, from the heats in 38.67 seconds. Nigeria were second fastest 38.70 seconds. Completely different races. Liberia qualified third fastest and these three countries are all winners of their heats. Uh, Liberia finished with 38.86 seconds. That's just to give you the, an idea of the pace that is in these teams and the obvious favorites will be the race between Ghana, Nigeria and the Liberians. But can someone pull a surprise against these teams that run the fastest times in the heats? Is a women's 4 by 100 meters really? And they are away, the final of the 4x100 meter relay, the Ghanaians are out to a really great start. But so are the Liberians as well. And for Liberia, it's Ebony Lee running really well. The changeover is smooth, the Ghanaians are coming through for Mensa. Mensa is running great, but so is Nigeria's Olajide as well. But look at Liberia, strong changeover. Oh, the changeover is not smooth for Liberia, but the Nigerians are off on the inside lane. Right now, for Nigeria, it's Fohan. Fohan has to lead. She's running incredibly. Hands over to Toby Amusan. There's no catching her. Whole holiday of Ghana is chasing shadows. Look at Liberia's ankle leg. It's Carrie Josephine and whole holiday for second. But Nigeria takes the gold. Liberia with the silver. Ghana settles for bronze. And Toby Amusan, the express, has brought Nigeria home. That is how you run an ankle leg. Barely one hour after, after her individual uh, gold medal in the 100 meter hurdle. She's anchored Nigeria home, aptly named Toby Express, and she has brought them home. That is world class running. But for the Ghanaians, this is Patty, Patty Pooping at his best. And he's, you know, it all came down to the smoothness of the Nigerian transitions and how they finished this. When Toby Amusan got this battle and there was no doubt who was going to win this, win this race and she simply piled past them and the real race really was between Ni Liberia and Ghana but Horse simply did not have enough to append the Li Ni Liberians and take note the Liberians almost had an incident at the point of changing the baton Absolutely. but they still recovered to run the final leg but the Nigerians 
undisputed and they could not be contested in this race. They got their technique right, they got their changeover right, and when you have a world-class athlete like Toby Amosan, even when she had run just about an hour earlier in the 100 meters hurdles, you have no doubt when she starts from the front that she's going to end up winning. Smooth changeover and excellent execution by the Nigerians. Ghana have to settle for bronze, but Liberia. Nobody was talking about Liberia before this competition. I did. And they came out of nowhere, won their heat in 38.86 seconds, and they have nailed a famous silver medal. So guys, there you have it. Honestly, see, I've watched this video like 10 times, and I still don't get how that gap getting to the end, how huge that gap became. Toby Express just extended that gap between her the Liberians and also the Ghanaians. And you see, Nigeria won gold, Liberia won silver, and Ghana won bronze during this particular race. And I look at it every time when I ask, like, could Ghana have done any different? Could Ghana have done any different? Because you see, during the All African Games, Nigeria showed us that, I mean, when it comes to track and field, we are not on their level. But honestly, I mean, you would, you would be very honest. During the All-African Games, Ghana had the best team when it comes to the women and also men 4 by 100 meters really. It only that any time we get to the final, it is, there's, there's a problem. There is, there is always a mistake somewhere. And that is what worries us. But then at the end of the day, we don't want to be sore losers. We just have to accept the fact that Nigeria did well and we congratulate them. But guys, this is just a throwback to that particular race during the all african games i hope you enjoy it make sure to like this video subscribe and turn on notification now make sure to see you in the next one Charlie, we go vibe